everyone. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something that I ordered off of Amazon.com. And the only reason why I'm bringing you this is because I have to do a review for it anyway. So as I'm reviewing it for myself, I might as well kill two birds with one stone. So this is the Keto Coffee and Keto Creamer. I have recently been placed on a keto diet by my doctor. There's so many health issues so many things going on we're just trying to figure out how i can get healthier how i can do better with my diabetes it's just you know health issues so i saw this and i was like wow i think i can because my coffee that i drink which is just regular um caffeinated folgers and creamer just a regular creamer it's been raising my blood sugar. So I'm like, okay, my doctors, they're saying you have to find an alternative because we're trying to get your sugar stabilized to the point where you won't be shooting up and down all day. And I'm like, uh -huh, okay, let me see what I can do. So I got on Amazon. At first, I, I checked on Kroger's.com because you could order uh, food items from there too. Checking all over, checking all over. And I finally said, let me check on and see what Amazon has. So I checked keto friendly coffee and creamer. I did not know that it would pop up, but to my surprise, poof, this is what came up. That's what came up. And let me pull it up on the site. I just recently got it in the mail. I made me a cup and this is it. I'm going to be drinking it for you guys to see. I'm going to give you my honest opinion about this. Anybody who is um, going through what I'm going through, and I always run my fingers through my hair, y'all, because I don't want it to be tangled or stiff looking as I'm recording a video. So if you ever see me doing this, it's because I want to fluff it up and revive it and get it the life that it deserves to have as I'm recording, of course. But anyway, um, if you're suffering from diabetes or you're trying to lose a little weight or you're trying to be uh, you know, on a keto diet, um, these are some items that I found. This is a coffee and this is a creamer, as you can see. So I'm going to tell you a little about them. Um, the coffee was $14.97 and the creamer was $14.09. Now, so yeah, it is kind of pricey for coffee and creamer. The order total was $29.06 for both of those. Now, if I just went to the grocery store, I could have bought, uh, three to four, of those from the store you know what i'm saying they're probably eight dollars for this probably three dollars for this no that's neither here nor there so i was gonna originally just get some empty mct oil and put it in my coffee and do it that way and i was like no let me just try this so 2906 totaling for both and it arrived to me within two days so i've never had this before i never tried this before I don't know what it's going to do, what the results are. So let's just read and see what it says. This is the Rapid Fire Mind, Body, and Soul Keto Coffee. The directions, first of all, are add two tablespoons to eight fluid ounces of hot or cold water and drink. Rapid Fire Keto Coffee is high performance, fat burning coffee blend that is, it is an all-in-one powdered coffee that is to be enjoyed instantly, either hot or cold, any time of the day to help boost your metabolism. My metabolism has been to the floor. So when I seen that, I was like, oh, yes, I need this in my life. It says, rapid fire combines delicious instant coffee with grass-fed butter, MCT. Uh, something keeps popping up, y'all. So if I go in and out, that's why I keep getting notifications. Um, grass-fed butter, where was I at, where was I at, oh, an MCT, medium chain triglycerides, to start your morning strong and feel energized throughout the day. Let Rapid Fire Keto Coffee be your secret weapon to help maximize your weight loss goals. That was another thing I saw that I was like, ooh, yay. So the MCT oil I was going to get is already included. So, I mean, why not kill two birds with one stone? Let's get your coffee, get your MCT oil. Boom. Everything is there. Come through. So it says, keep out, keep out of the reach of children. Store in a cool, dry place. Product from heat. I mean, protect from heat 
light and moisture do not purchase if seal is broken well of course i would have slammed it right back in the envelope and sent it back if the seal was broken okay so that is this you can also get this from myrapidfire.com it says i'm not sure go check that website out this is not a sponsored video this is me spending my own money saying i need product and i need product that's going to help and work so that's what i do that's the coffee once again this is what it looks like i'm going to go ahead and read um let's learn about the creamer so oh by the way i'm going to show it to you this has nine grams of coconut mct in it um, i'm missing stuff this is an instant medium roast that i got this is 15 servings in this container and it is 7.93 ounces. So that's this, okay? All right. And total fat, if you needed to know that, is 100 cal calories. Um, total fat, 12%. Saturated fat, 35%. Cholesterol, 8 grams, which is 3%. Sodium, 105 milligrams, which is 5%. Total carbohydrates, 3 grams, which is 1%. Dietary fiber, zero grams, zero percent. Sugar, two grams. Um, and it says it includes one gram added sugars, two percent. Protein, one gram. Vitamin D, none. Calcium, none. Iron, none. Potassium, 155 milligrams, which equals three percent. So that's your nutritional facts there as well. And so that's that. Let's get on to it. And I'm going to hurry up because it's still, I just made it. It's piping hot. Um, this is, of course, Rapid Fire Mind Body Soul Keto Creamer. This is the original flavor, okay? This is Metabolism Energy Brain. Coconut MCTs, grass-fed butter, Himalayan salt, caffeine-free. And this is 20 servings you should get out of this. Um, the weight is 8.5 ounces, which is 240 grams. This is keto-friendly. And as far as the nutritional facts are concerned, this is 80 calories uh, per serving. Total fat, 8 grams, which is 10%. Saturated fat, 7 grams, which is 35%. Total fat, 0 grams. Cholesterol, 0. Sodium, 95 milligrams, which is 4%. Total carbohydrates, 3 grams, which is 1%. Dietary fiber, 0. Total sugars, 1 gram. Include 0 added sugars. 0%, protein, 1 gram, vitamin D, calcium and iron, 0%, potassium in this is 0%, okay? So directions say mix two tablespoons of rapid fire into prepared coffee, tea, or cocoa, stir and enjoy. All right, let's see. The ingredients are carcinogenic creamer blend. This is a coconut oil. Um, it's so small. Oh my god, let me, let me see if I can see it, y'all. They should have made this a little bit bigger. Maltodextrin, sodium, casinate, casinate, medium chain, um, triglycerides, non fat dairy milk. Um, dipotassium, phosphate, Himalayan pink salt, silica, and gura gum, grass-fed butter powder, pasteurized cream, non-fat dry milk, and it says contains milk. So if you have a allergy to milk or you don't can drink milk or whatever, just remember this has milk in there. Probably some powder milk. But this is it. This is what it looks like. I'm hesitating because I'm nervous to taste it. So let's give it a swirl. Ooh. Okay, let's give it a try. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I don't want nobody's company to get uh bad results <laughs> but y'all this coffee 
is disgusting. <laughs> I'm not doing <laughs> The Kramer ain't getting no justice to this cop. This stuff is gross. Ugh. So, ooh, this stuff is nasty, y'all. But I got a drink. I can't waste it. Cause I really want to see what it's gonna do to me. <laughs> If I could get away with instead of just drinking this down whole, <laughs> can I just pour this in my coffee and drink this with my coffee? Two tablespoons. But I'm trying to see, did I do something wrong? <laughs> it's so nasty. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. All in one powder coffee that is to be enjoyed instantly. <laughs> I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> Y'all, it's so nasty. But I'm excited to see what it'll do for my metabolism. I really want, you know, to have a healthier option than what I've been doing. Because, y'all, I'm so proud to say I was stuck at 161 for a long time. I know I said this before in previous videos. I am literally down to 140, solid, staying 140. I've been 140 for like a month now. No, probably like two months now. It fluctuated for a while, but once I got on the keto diet and started eating more greens, more greens than usual, started eating more healthier uh, things, I took out, every now and then I have a soda, and it's like if, if my blood sugar's just going down. One morning, my blood sugar had got down to 54. 54 i thought it was over so i i woke up with a bang and headache and that's what woke me up but i have a sensor on now um that alerts me when my sugars are high or low so the sensor went off and i'm like oh god what you know i'm kind of delusional i'm asleep i'm tired it's like five o'clock in the morning mind you so i check my um sensor which is on my phone so anybody who has a gcom you already know what it is um you get your, your little notifications there. See, right now, my numbers are 127, so I'm doing pretty good. Um, but it was 54, and I had just a bang of headache, and that headache stayed for like three days. So I guess from my sugar going so low and my body trying to bounce back, it couldn't really bounce back. It stayed low for, you know, for hours, so it didn't come back up. So I cut up, and I drank some soda, and it kind of brought it back up. Uh, slowly, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you want. You want it to come back up uh, at a normal rate. But I barely drink soda, so I cut out a lot of that stuff. Um, but every now and then, I just get a taste for something sweet. Like, I don't care what how long I've been doing this. I just keep having these cravings for sweets. So, you know, other than the, you know, cravings, I have been eating right. I have been doing right you can see it in my face my face and slimmed down so much i used to have them triple chins y'all remember when i come on come on with them triple chins flapping look at me you know i'm here no longer caterpillar-esque i'm doing great i'm feeling great i i feel it my clothes are way baggier it's like i'm gonna wait until i really want to wait until it gets back to the springtime for me to go shopping shopping like i want to completely give away all the stuff in my closet and just completely buy me a whole new wardrobe and i definitely will be coming back to you guys with that i don't know when because i'm steady dropping the weight y'all i'm steady dropping the weight so we'll see mm. <laughs> So, with that being said, this is gross. I'm just going to have to fight through it because I'm going to finish this cup. Uh, this stuff costs too much to be playing. Um, I'm just going to have to break down and just go for it. You know, I mean, it, it's it's horrible. It, it really is nasty, but for health. Let's just say for health. Cheers. Cheers, boom, to my health journey. Cheers. 
to me getting back to where I want to be. Now, my goal weight is 135. So I want to get to 135 plus. And I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. I fast every day. Fasting does not have to be extreme. Fasting does not have to be hard, okay? So don't let pe other people's stories of how they fast and what they do. And I'm just talking to people who are kind of being health conscious and want to get yourself together and get yourself in a healthy state. I'm, I'm talking to you from my experiences. I fast every single day. I chose a time that was perfect for me because I have to take medications for my diabetes and other um, issues that I'm having every single day. So I was like, okay, I know I can't go throughout the day um, or days without eating because, of course, my blood sugar drop and it'll be horrible. So I was like, I'm going to find a time where I can do it and then go ahead and be prepared to eat and all that. So when I get up in the morning, I set an alarm every day. I wake up about eight o'clock. So I fast from eight o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And that gives me still enough time to eat and still take my medicine without it being too late. Now, I was supposed to take my medicine at 8 a.m., but I can't fast. You know what I'm saying? I, I So I had to kind of like figure out what would be the best for me. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Fasting will take any diet or any health uh, plan that you're doing will take it to the next level. So if you want to see great results along with your diet plan, along with your uh, supplements or whatever you may be doing, don't fasting in there. Go ahead and fast. Your body needs to be able to clean itself out and, and, and readjust and try to get itself together. So that will be a great thing to add each and every day. Now, if you're not taking medication and you can do it throughout the day, uh, go for it. Just skip a meal every day. Sp skip a meal. I really do not like eating breakfast. That's why the morning time was best for me. I don't, I'm not type of, I can't wake up early in the morning eating. Like I can barely drink water because it used to be to the point where I drink some water and my stomach would blow. I don't, they still don't know what caused that. I went to my doctor on several different occasions. They don't know, but I just, I could not. So I'm like, that's the best time for me. Cause I don't like eating anyway. I'm not going to eat anything. And you know, even with fasting, you can still drink liquid. So I'll usually get up drink a bottle of water just to get my liver kidneys doing what it needs to do because that's how they get to work and you got to hydrate them drink my bottle of water wait until 12 o'clock 12 o'clock boom i'll go in with whatever i'm gonna eat take my medications and i'm still good you know so that's just a few tips and tricks and i'm not don't don't look at it i'm not a doctor i'm not this but i have been dealing with health issues for a long time I do know what I'm talking about. I do know what works. I do know what can get you the results. I wouldn't tell something that I I didn't do myself. And I wouldn't come on here and tell you guys something if it didn't work for me. So, you know what I mean? I'm tired of people coming online and talk about do this, do that, do this. And really, they don't know because they haven't tried it or they haven't used the products or they haven't experienced anything in life. So... That's why I'm coming to you with these. Yes, they are disgusting. Let's just get that out the way. <laughs> but if this is going to help my body, I'm just going to have to push through. Every morning, I am going to drink this until it is gone. Because the health benefits and the things that it's claiming to do, I want to see it. I want to see if it's going to give me the results. And like I said, my, my doctors and my... um. The specialist that I see, that was like, you're going to have to find something else other than coffee and cream. And I don't drink coffee with sugar. I love creamer. And I'll put sometimes a little bit too much. But that's neither here nor there. I'm getting better. So that's why I purchased these. And I just wanted to share these with you. Hopefully, my aim and my goal for this channel as a whole is to help somebody with something. If I can just help one person, that is amazing. But that is what these are for. Um, I will continue to use these every day and I'm not going to give a full review on these until I maybe two to three weeks and then we'll see what the results are. If, um, my numbers go down 
if every day after I drink these, like my um, GCOM is, is, I'm still like 124. So any other time, if I didn't drink some or ate some, the numbers will fluctuate. It's still at 124. It ain't, this is not doing nothing. So I will come back to you guys. If you have any questions as far as what I have discussed on this video, do not be afraid to comment down below. You can ask me anything. I will tell you if it's something I know about already. Okay. So if it's something I can't tell you, then I'll let you know. I can't tell you that. I don't know. I just got it, but I am going to continue to drink it. And we are going to go ahead and see what this is giving, what it does. Will my metabolism go up? Will my energy come on? Pat, you know, come in hitting hard and heavy because that's what I need. I need some energy. I'm 43, you know, let's just get into it. So that is the end of this one. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. If you did, um, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed and you do like videos like these, go ahead and subscribe and I'll be coming back to you with more and more and more and see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.